warmer weather means lighter eating. So that's why I'm excitedly showing you today how to make some tuna pokey. Fresh raw tuna is marinated in an Asian style sauce and served on buttery lettuce. It's bursting with fresh flavor and satisfying on its own to eat as a meal. So come on, grab your tuna and I'll show you how to make this. What's up universe? Welcome back to our kitchen. And in case you're new here, I'm Julie Yoon. I'm a chef, I'm a mom. And for this season of our show, our focus is on some easy and yummy snacks that we can actually execute and film while our son Lincoln naps. But it's a little bit bittersweet today because today is our last episode of season five. I mean, can you believe it? I hope you really enjoyed this season and this theme it was something that we tried doing as our way of getting back on the horse to filming these kinds of videos again after Lincoln was born. So anyways, let's jump right into it with some tuna pokey. What you're gonna need is sushi grade tuna, soy sauce, toasted sesame seeds, lemon juice, sesame oil, rice vinegar, sambal, kosher salt, light brown sugar, cucumber, scallions, lettuce, and avocado. I'm gonna start off with grabbing an English cucumber, but you can use Persian or like those mini cucumbers. I tend to like the seedless variety or those sweeter Persian cucumbers, probably more than just a normal cucumber. So you're just gonna chop up some into small dice until you have about a cup's worth. Okay, let's see how much we have. That was about a half a cucumber. Oh, and I think that might be just right. Just gonna grab yourself a, a medium-sized bowl and just dump that right in. Now we're gonna grab two scallions, green onions, and just give that a thin slice. If you want to be fancy, you can go on a bias, but I'm just gonna do a thin slice. Nothing says spring and summer like spring green onions. Dump that in too. Oh my gosh, that green on green is just, this just makes your eyes smile. <laughs> my grandmother used to say, always look at something green at least once a day. I don't know why, she said it makes your eyes fresh and healthy. So I have one pound of sushi grade tuna and I usually get mine at the Asian grocery store. And honestly, I find it frozen and it's in the section with like all the sushi this is a really thick piece of tuna. So I'm kind of like questioning how I wanna chop this because if I go really, really teeny tiny, then it could marinate so much that it almost turns too salty. So I think I'm just gonna make it a little bit uneven, but leave it larger. And the second piece is cut a little bit thinner, so it should look more evenly like a dice. My husband slash cameraman is salivating right now because this is like his absolute favorite thing to eat, raw tuna. Quick wash. Okay, you guys are totally gonna get on me because I did this in another video before. If you wanna make sure that all of the ingredients are mixed together for this sauce, you could dump it in the bowl first, make your sauce mixture, and then add in all of the chopped ingredients on top and then mix it together. That way you can save yourself the cleanup of an extra bowl. So you're gonna use two tablespoons of soy sauce. And technically, you don't even have to mix it separately. You could just dump everything right on top of the fish and cucumbers. But you know, because there's brown sugar involved, I just wanna make sure it's nicely dissolved. And then I have a tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds. So in Asian grocery stores, they do sell sesame seeds that are pre-toasted, but if you can't find them, you can always just toast them yourself in a dry pan just until they're a little bit brown and fragrant. And then I have a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. So I just squeezed a little bit of lemon and I'm just gonna measure out a teaspoon. Honestly, don't leave this part out. I tried a pokey recipe without the lemon and I just felt like I needed it. It just adds a little bit of a pop and a zing. And then we're gonna add a classic flavor, one teaspoon of sesame oil. 
hard to see, but one teaspoon of rice vinegar. This is unseasoned. So if you want a link to maybe some hard to find or some interesting ingredients that I mentioned, I'll leave a link for you down below in the description box. And then we're gonna add two teaspoons of sambal. And if you're like, what's a sambal? <laughs> so it's like this Asian chili sauce. It's just ground fresh chili paste. Now if you don't have this, and if you're Korean and you happen to have gochujang around, you can try that too, just to add a little bit of spice. Or you can add some crushed red pepper flakes because I usually have that in my pantry at all times. Adds a little heat. And although there's already soy sauce in there which makes it salty, I'm also gonna add a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. You know how soy sauce can be a little bit overpowering sometimes, it just tastes like soy sauce one note. And so I like to add a little bit, but then add a little bit more salt with kosher salt. And then lastly, which is kind of a surprise ingredient, is a half tablespoon, which is a half packed tablespoon. Mind you, you pack it into your half tablespoon. So it's a nice little mound of light brown sugar. Plop. That little bit of sweetness balances out with everything else, the saltiness, the vinegar, the lemon, and it just rounds out all the flavors. So in my opinion, I think it's necessary. Pour your sauce over. I mean, that just looks mouthwatering to me. Honestly, don't you just feel like scooping it up with a spoon and eating it right now? Okay, very gingerly and gently toss everything together just to make sure that all the little pieces are covered with that sauce. And it's not a ton of sauce, but it's enough. I mean, just look at these beautiful colors, right? We're just gonna cover this up and pop this in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. And then meanwhile, just get some other accoutrements ready. Get some fresh butter lettuce leaves, get some avocado slices, and then have yourself a party. Well, I know this is quite a hefty snack, <laughs> but I mean, I can't help myself. It's a good lunch, a good mm -hmm. dinner, and a great appetizer, which was my thinking for a snack. And you can just serve it like this, like a self-serve station at a party, or if you have guests over, and just have the lettuce leaves out, or you can pre-assemble them for people if you want to be nice. But this definitely looks delicious, appetizing, just like an eye candy. Oh. It just feels so clean eating it. So healthy. I'm trying to come mm. up with the words, but I have none. Because it's like bursting with flavor. There's a little bit of subtle heat from the sambal. A little bit of balanced sweet saltiness, not too sweet. It's so fresh and clean. I could eat like probably all of them. <laughs> we came back due to request because it is hard filming now that we are parents. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of production. <laughs> so check out our IG stories if you want to see some behind the scenes stuff. Did you have fun with this season? We did. Snack break, it's an interesting concept. Mm -hmm. I kind of bent the rules a little bit here and there because believe it or not, it's kind of hard to come up with a million <laughs> snack ideas. But it was kind of fun. It was our way of jumping in, getting our feet wet again after such a long break. So. I hope you stay tuned for whatever comes next. Um, not sure if it'll be a next season or it'll be just some shorter videos, some quick tips. We're also thinking of starting a second channel. So <laughs> keep your eyes peeled about that. Mm -hmm. Outside the kitchen. Yeah. So. Just life beyond the kitchen. That's the concept I'm thinking. But we love spending time with you. We love eating for you. We love cooking with you. And I hope you enjoyed spending time with us. Remember to push like if you liked this video, mm -hmm. to leave a comment if you have something to say, and also subscribe to our channel. But most importantly, hit that bell for notifications so that you know every time we upload a new video. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.